I'm going to do a few uh, quick book talks today since we're at home. Um, I know we need to have way bigger conversations about reading. Um, tried my best. Tried to get you guys interested in, in reading books. Um, it's, it's hard when you're worried and you have a lot on your mind to actually dig into a book. But I can tell you, um, it actually does end up helping um, your anxiety in the long run. So I bought a couple of new books to share and I'm going to be updating my reading too over um, while we're apart and I really miss you. So here's one. This is the um, second book to Dread Nation. Dread Nation was an awesome book about um, a female protagonist who um, is a warrior and a fighter and it's fantasy because it has zombies and it's historical fiction well, historical fantasy, not historical fiction, um, because it has uh, the backdrop of the Civil War. And this is part two of the book, the continuation of the story, which I can't wait to dig into this. Uh, the other book I bought was um, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Um, well, back up a little bit. This is by Justina Ireland. Um, this is by Holly Jackson, Good Girl's Guide. Um, it's a mystery and I normally don't read mysteries, but figured, you know, why not try a different genre for a change? Uh, the book blurb says, everyone in Fairview knows the story. Pretty and popular high school senior Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Saul Singh, who then killed himself. It was all anyone could talk about. And five years later, Pip sees how the tragedy still haunts her town but she can't shake the feeling that there was more to the story. She knew Sal when she was a child and he was always kind to her. How could he possibly have been a killer? Now a senior herself, Pip decides to re-examine the close case for her final project at first, just to cast doubt on the original investigation. But soon she discovers a trail of dark secrets that might actually prove Sal innocent. Not Saul, Sal. Hmm. And the line between past and present begins to blur. Someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip digging around for answers, and now her own life might be in danger. Okay. I can't wait to read this next one, too. Um, two of my favorite authors, Jason Reynolds and Ibram X. Kendi, um, have done, uh, Dr. Kendi has done a lot of work with anti-racism, and that's another book I need to dig into further. I have so many books to read, so many on my uh, to be read list. Um, it's a hist it's not a history book. It says it's a book about race, and it's also um, co-written by Jason Reynolds, who's also one of my favorite writers. Um, the blurb says the thief known as racism is all around us, and it it is. I got more to say about that. Anyway. The construct of race has always been used to gain and keep power to create dynamics that separate and silence. Racist ideas are woven into the fabric of this country and the first step to building an anti-racist America is acknowledging America's racist past and present. This book takes you on that journey, showing how racist ideas started and were spread and how they can be discredited. Through a gripping, fast-paced, and energizing narrative, Stamp shines a light on the many insidious forms of racist ideas and on ways you can identify and stamp out racist thoughts, leading to a better future. Hmm. Got more to say about that, but anyway. Okay. Um, this is a teacher book I bought called Focus Lessons. I love using imagery and art um, as writing prompts and writing directions, so I'm going to see um, what... Ralph Fletcher has to say he's a, he writes great teacher books. So I'm looking forward to digging into this. And I also got this, um, this was published by Book Riot, which is one of my favorite sites. Um, meet your new reading buddy. So I thought maybe we could bring in, um, something like this into our classroom. Um, how do you basically kind of keep a reading journal that isn't a reading log, but actually makes all of us kind of interact with the books that we're reading. So, so there, so those are what some things I'm going to be reading and please, um, meet me in Google classroom and tell me what you're reading and what you're thinking about and how you're doing. If you're keeping a daily journal, if you're having to take care of siblings, 
what's on your mind. Please remember I'm here and I want to hear from you and I miss you. All right. Thanks.